price ceilings and price floors. We've been talking about the old supply and demand model, looks something like this. So supply is in red, demand's in blue. Equilibrium prices are in purple. Makes sense, right? The price ceiling is a government imposed or maybe even a, a company imposed price below the what we would consider the market price. There's market forces that want to force that up, but the government squelches it and tries to smash the market forces, so we have a price that's below what we'd consider the market price. At that price, suppliers are willing to supply what we'd see QS or quantity supplied, but people want to have the price that's quantity demanded denoted by the QD there. Henceforth, we have a shortage anytime the quantity demand is greater than quantity supplied. The uh, light red line is the at that price, this much will be supplied. And the blue line is the price, at that price, that much will be demanded. Henceforth, the green represents the shortage. Now, there's an impact of what we've been talking about, too. Consumer surplus is an impact of that as well. And also, there's a price ceiling, or there's an impact to producer surplus. What we see, those areas that we see normally in the blue and red right there, at the market price, that's what consumer surplus and producer surplus are. But again, at that price, at the price ceiling, quantity supplied will be that level. So what begins to happen, consumers, there's a certain amount of consumers that won't benefit from being able to purchase the product or service. And there's a certain amount of suppliers that can't benefit because they won't sell it, the good or service. So the light green area there represents those individuals that used to have the product and service that no longer have it. And there's a dead weight loss to society, which is represented by the gray. And what this means is, is the consumers aren't benefiting and the producers are not benefiting. The purple area represents a shift. All this means is we've shifted some of the surplus from consumer to, I'm sorry, I got that backwards. We have shifted some of the surplus from producer to consumer. With price ceilings, they cause a shortage. Quantity demanded is greater than quantity supplied. Shifts producer surplus to consumer surplus. Creates a dead weight loss to society. Causes inefficient allocation of resources. And society is worse off after price ceiling. Some examples. Sports tickets that are priced too low. Scalping. We have a black market going there. Government's trying to prevent price gouging. Black markets, uh, some type of price ceilings in place, or some type of market control, or secondary markets. <clears throat> so, supply and demand, let's look at price floors. Price floors mean that the government has imposed a price floor which prices can't be below. In this case, the market tries to push prices down, but the government won't let it fall. Quantity demanded is at that level, of quant represented by QD. Quantity supplied is at that level. Hence, there's a surplus. Price ceiling, here's a summary of price ceilings and floors. There's an inefficient allocation of resources. There's shortages. Surplus uh, causes in a floor setting. This is cumbersome. I mean, what I should say is this. Is with a price floor, you get surpluses. With a price ceiling, you get shortages. Net loss to society, and society is worse off.